So I usually use my uh, number three carpet tool for the uh, general trimming to remove the most of the clay and also to uh, define the foot. Right, and then I will change to my number two carbide tool for the better cornering. Right, so after trim everywhere, uh, before I remove the uh, secure the anchor uh, coil, uh, I usually like to uh, put my plastic glass and the uh, spinner together on top of here, so uh, to compress it down, so I will be able to trim the corner without flipping it over and then trim it. So this is a much easier way to do that. So because of the uh, down pressure, so I will be able to trim without push my ball off the sander. So this is very uh, good, uh, it's my invention. Because by just using this itself, usually you want to trim a little dome here, so you won't be able to put it here. So you have, I have another uh, combination of a plastic glass, and uh, I got a lot of uh, smaller circular uh, circles here, so you can find your center easily. And then just drop this in the center, and do that. You could uh, compress it this way, this way, whatever you like. So you have a down pressure, then uh, you won't be able, uh, you won't uh, push your clay up the center. So it's a very good uh, tool to have. So that's how I trim the bowl. That is a little bit drier, so it's easier for using my carbide tool. The carbide tool is good for trimming drier clay and also you keep your foam. Uh, your foam is not too, uh, your pole is not too wet so you keep the foam and you can trim it thinner. You can trim it when you trim drier, your pole could be a little bit thinner. And uh, I will uh, put, put it back on the wheel and then um, part some slip over and then do a little bit of a chattering and a little bit of a screw fiddle. But before I do that, I like to uh, clean up my uh, clay here. This screw fiddle is different kind of uh, clay and I don't want to mess up with my... I want to recycle my porcelain clay so I will clean up my splash pan and then uh, to brush the uh, slip over and then do the chattering.
So I will do the uh, chattering here and then use my Scovito tool to carve uh, lines here. Okay, so I divide it into three sections. Right, so this is the finish scovito and also chattering texture on about two thirds of the portion here. Okay, thanks for watching and see you next time.